Hey, Mom. Can you shut that door? Hi. I can barely hear you. I'm sorry I missed the other phone. Hello? 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 Well, we don't really have friends of hers over very often, and we're very picky about who we do. But uh, we let her have a friend over because I'm. It's, so we let her come over here for the second time, like ever, on Wednesday, and I guess on Thursday, her sister, who goes between her parents' homes, tested positive. So she, Kaylee's friend, went and tested yesterday, tested positive, and she's positive. She's tested positive. The results came back today. Sorry. I know. So it's actually been a couple hours since I was on the phone with my mom. Um, but as you heard, we have had contact with a positive COVID test person. One of Kaylee's friends tested positive today, got tested yesterday. Her sister got tested the day before that, positive. And that friend came over the day before that. This is why we have limited the number of people coming into our home and the kids all having to play outside. But, you know, they after so long, Kaylee doesn't have anyone come over here. We're like, okay, as long as everyone can be safe, we let her have this friend over. And unfortunately, now we're all exposed. So I've been on the phone, texting, calling. My list is getting bigger and bigger. Luckily, the contact for Kaylee in our home is small. She had one friend over yesterday that I just barely remembered about. Evelyn was over here yesterday, so she had to, I had to just call her mom and let her know. They had very limited contact, and then she said that two other guys kind of hung out with them at the park yesterday, but they were all on bikes, and so, and they wore masks because it was cold. They had hoodies on and like masks on because it was actually cold, and so that the mask <laughs> kept them warm. I'm like, yay, yay for <laughs> wearing your mask outside, which... When you're around people, you still need to wear them. So it's been kind of a crazy day. I've been working on the computer and like having to like text back and forth with all these parents. The parents of all the kids have been the biggest, not headache, it's just, it's just I feel so sad for all the kids. And then the parents, some of them are like under, most of them are understanding and helpful and sending us test sites where we can go, which we'll talk about when we actually go. We found two different places where we can go as a family to get tested, but we have to wait till day five through seven, which is tomorrow through Tuesday. So we haven't decided. Jason wants to wait till day six or seven to make sure we don't get a negative result. I would rather know sooner than later so that I can tell these other parents because now they're kind of, I mean, our, our web of families that are now having to quarantine has gotten bigger. So I would like to let them know as soon as possible that we are all in fact negative. So they literally don't have any contact with a COVID positive case themselves. That's my hope. But we are going to finish up this project. Luckily, I didn't know this, but Jason had snuck out. Um, I had gone up to my bedroom last night after we worked on this room in here. We'll go in here. Chelsea's on her, she's watching a, sh a movie on Disney Plus. So we'll kind of talk in here for a second and then we'll just kind of go out there and we'll work and I'll just take the volume down. And also, no, there's no makeup today <laughs> because, and I'm, this is dry skin again. This is like my problem. I get dry skin and then it just, this, it, they're not, it's not breakouts. It's dry skin and it gets really, really irritated. So anyway, ignore the face. Luckily, he went and got paint. Yeah, and we already had caulk and um, the other piece that we needed, two more pieces of wood. So you look like you're like a... Ready to work, man. You're a work, <laughs> what are the construction workers like in their well, neon... K2 telemark. I like the back of what it says. If it were easy, it'd be called snowboarding. <laughs> I snowboard too, but whatever. It is easy. Telemarking is very hard, and I've done it. Oops. It's much harder than snowboarding. Yeah. So you picked up easy. snowboarding in like I, a day. Well, the first time I ever went, I just hopped up on it and went all the way to the bottom. It was the beginner's hill, but I still went all the way to the but bottom. But he also grew up in Alaska and... I skied my whole life, so. And was a ski patrol in college at Utah no, State. No, I didn't, wasn't, no. I did not do ski patrol. It was a ski class? I did a ski class. I oh. didn't do ski patrol. Oh, I, I would love a... to have done it, but no, I didn't do ski patrol. Okay, whatever. Regardless, luckily he went and got those supplies. Might have been <laughs> still exposing ourselves last night when we didn't know, but whatever. He got supplies. I just have been busy on the computer and like 
tag teaming all tag teaming all these parents today that I haven't had a chance to go on Colk, which had by been my original goal. I was going to like Colk or Colk. Colk. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna put him to work. We're gonna yeah, go I'm and gonna, call. I'm gonna wanna get sick, so he won't make me work. Okay, so you see how we did it on oh so you see how we did it on this side of the shelf, this little teeny tiny patch. Because we want it to kind of look built in with this whole lovely IKEA shelving tutorial that we had. If you want to check that out, I'll leave an eye card. But we're gonna match it on this side as well. So now we're gonna run a strip right here next to the wall, next to the shelf, and then another one here against the wall. And then we, again, we have this little teeny tiny hole in the corner, but we're just not gonna worry about it. It's, it's a thing, and we're not gonna worry about it. Cause see, now once you're over here, we decided to not run this one against the shelf. We ran it straight down this one here, so it doesn't create a hole, and it just looks like that's just the next panel all the way down. These are the ladies caulking, getting it looking better. All right guys, it is all caulked. I didn't really film much of it just cause it's kind of boring, but we got all the little holes filled in and then we filled in all the cracks here. We're not going to fill in the crack on the top because we're not painting this. I would love to paint this, but here's our problem. We've shown this before. We have a rounded edge on a wall here. This is our header for the whole house. It goes up. And it connects across here so it's connected to this whole wall over here so if I paint across here I start having this never-ending job because this wall goes all the way up and then connects on the other side <laughs> of the room up there so we're just gonna paint from the boards down we're not even gonna paint the floorboards I know you're supposed to and you're supposed to have them all matchy and all cute but we just aren't because it's again once you start painting floorboards they all connect and I can't, I can't go into that. But it totally makes this whole shelving unit connect all the way across. This table here will go back on this wall. We just have it moved for now. But this little corner here is all done. Looks really good and makes everything kind of connect together. So now, before I vacuum and before we paint tomorrow, I'm going to dust all of these shelves off and get them ready for Christmas. Like I might take away some of the books there and the jar. I'll take away some of the stuff I know I'm not gonna decorate with for Christmas. If I get this all prepped for Christmas, then I think within like a week and a half, I'll be ready to do Christmas. Sometimes I'll pull out some of the decorations and I'll start, and then we'll do the Christmas tree the day after Christmas so that we're more set up and ready to enjoy the Christmas tree once it's done and the rest of it is all done. Now we're gonna dust. The kids are playing among us again. Now they're in 10 days of quarantine unless we test negative tomorrow or Monday. I almost forgot that, that already happened today. It's been a really long day. This shelf is all dusted off, taking off all the things that I probably won't put on here for the holidays. I haven't put everything back where they go, because I, I just mix things up anyway for the holidays. All right, so I'm kind of bleeding into this room now. <laughs> I'm dusting and dusting, and then now I'm reorganizing and rethinking. So I'm kind of thinking this shelf is gonna get a revamp, so I've just started to take stuff down. I like some of my stuff. You're making progress for yourself. He's a I am. I am. Okay, I was trying to say before I was interrupted by Jason. I'm rethinking this area. So I love my pineapples, but I'm gonna try and bring in more of the wood, white, and black into this room. So I'm gonna leave this frame here. I'm, I don't know, I'm really liking my pineapples. They're still kind of a staple. But I think I'm gonna spray paint or try and find white or black baskets for my notebooks. Plus, these are all my used ones right there. I keep them because it's kind of like a journal for me. But then I also have like 
my new ones that I want to kind of display and they're starting to fall over on my shelf. You have to mind my kids. They're sitting in here <laughs> playing among us. Look at the mess. It's okay. Look at the mess. This is why I started to like clean everything because all of this stuff was on the wall or on the table, but then this is Christmas and so it just kind of bled. This is the last little DIY I made for Christmas. You'll have already seen that. Those came off the shelf from out there that now are supposed to come in here, but now I'm rethinking all of my shelves. See, there's a lot of color and I like color, but at the same time, I don't know. See, I do color. I do lots of color. Hi, Callie. Oh, I can't show her. Go back to the game. I can't. I can't show her face. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know. I think I might need to stop at some point here. But, see, I like the white. But then I think I'll either paint the bike black, paint stuff, I don't know, or give it away. Am I done with it? I don't know. Like this. Do I need this? I don't know. And I'm not using this picture frame on the wall out there, but maybe I put it up here. But it's six o'clock on a Saturday night. I don't know if it's the time to make those judgment calls. So I think for now, I'm gonna have to just, I just keep coming back because I wanna get it done, but I can't. I just, I don't know. But I wanna get it done before Christmas. That's my thing. But I wanna have things in place before I set set for Christmas. I don't know what to do. So I made this craft at church. We did a virtual church craft activity. See, this is where I actually want to put some of this stuff here in this room, like these things, and create that more of a farmhouse look in here. So you have my big houses that I just got at Target. They're not Christmas. I don't have to use them for Christmas. I might make a, a house village, but I don't need all of them, and I have plenty in the other room. So that's where I'm kind of thinking the white, black, wood, and do something up here or up here or both. All right, I'm gonna call it good with this so far. I know the pineapple totally stands out and doesn't match at all, but I just love my pineapple. So I'm gonna be a crown and stand out like a pineapple. But I like my little house display there. This little guy was up on my other shelf and I pulled him down because he kind of has a place now. And I've got, I'm not gonna put this black frame on the wall out in the living room or on the table. So we'll just put it in here. Jason and I, in those pictures, those are our engagement photos, and our photographer has since passed away this year, which is kind of sad. But there's my stack of notebooks. The top half are new and the bottom half are old, and they all look good, all uniform there. And then across the top over here, just created a little feature section with more whites and blacks, like I said, and the wood tones. That vase is one of my favorites. So it's just kind of a little splash of color up there. I actually thought about putting that picture frame down here on the wall and then putting my create sign up above, but we'll just leave that here. Just so you know, that is the first sign I made when I made my channel, create, Dana Creates. So that's kind of my little logo that I remind myself every day. Meanwhile, I've kind of delved into too many projects. I've got a bunch of junk still left here on the table. All my books, I have stuff underneath the table that I'm going to either donate or spray paint or reuse somehow because I'm going to change the color scheme. And Ashley's painting my truck. <laughs> so she's going to paint it chalky black. It's not really going on this surface very well. So we're going to get a rough coat on the first yeah. layer and then see if it sticks to itself later on. Meanwhile, like I said, I'm just kind of going nuts here. I'm spray painted. Oh, shoot spray painted the star. It was on my wall. Got to pull it in more. I'll put some rocks down. So I ran out of spray paint because I'm a little over ambitious tonight. So I ran out right there. Plus I don't know if I like, it's not quite black. It's like a bronzy. So I'll have a good layer on it and I'm going to get some more tomorrow and I'll do another coat. All right, I know this is kind of a hod podge, hod podge, I don't even know what the word is, of uh, content today. That's how our day went. 
started out, I had all these good intentions of having all that caulking done ahead of time. Chelsea, let me vacuum really quick. And then everything kind of hit the fan when we found out we were a contact for COVID. So, you know, it is what it is. You kind of had to adjust your day. So, hopefully we find out tomorrow or the next day if we are negative and can move on with our life. I'm going to get really mad if we have to quarantine for 10 days when we are so cautious ourselves, And we probably won't be letting anyone else in from here on out. So, anyway, I'm going to vacuum, call it a day, see if Jason wants to say goodnight. Yes, you showered. I he was making fun that I couldn't tell if you showered or not. Because no, when I do the same thing with you, you're just like, oh. Um, I think it's more obvious than a, a, if a girl showers. Then Is that your dinner there? No, I've had soup and okay. a Coke. <laughs> and then three cookies. I thought there was something else. <laughs> there wasn't. Have the older two girls come down for dinner at all? No, I made a grilled cheese sandwich for one of them and then a uh, tortilla. tortilla for the other. All right, do you want to say goodnight to the people? It's been a weird day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We appreciate it. Leave comments. I love reading them and commenting. Uh, we appreciate everything. Share the channel. Tomorrow we'll have our wall painted. Oh yeah, our project's coming along really good, so we're excited. You can join and us tomorrow as we'll we... We'll have other things. I think Dana's going to link the cool bookshelf we did years ago. Yeah. That have been popular, so... Uh, you can see that if you haven't. Fun and exciting things on this channel. <laughs> Go enjoy your cookies. Say goodnight. Bye. Hey you guys, I'm just going to give a quick update to, at the end of this video. It's actually two days later <laughs> and I'm editing, but I didn't want you guys to worry. Later on, that evening that you guys just watched um it was late it was like 11 o'clock at night after we had stopped filming and we were watching tv getting ready for bed <sighs> it, it was an it was a whirlwind of a day but kaylee got a message from her friend that we had gotten the positive result from or told about and that kaylee had had contact with um her family had been following up on that positive um result as well. Let me shut this door real quick. Um, cause they were concerned. Now they have two daughters that have COVID and anyway, so they were following up on it and happened to log into her medical file online. And the result said that she did not have it. It said not detected. <laughs> so everyone was like, wait, what is it? Yes or no? Like, yeah, you know, positive or negative. And so, what they have had found out was that the text message that she had received was inaccurate and that the actual medical record that she can see online and we actually she actually sent us a copy of it so that we weren't like not that we were questioning her but it was i mean this is kind of a serious thing and so we have seen the actual notice saying she is you know that COVID is not detected in her system we are being a little extra cautious today is monday we didn't do anything yesterday sunday um, obviously we brought the kids in on saturday brought jason home from work on saturday so today's monday jason is home from work normally the girls are doing school and we're going to keep them in from playing with their friends it's rainy anyway so it's kind of a, an easy way to just keep them inside all the parents know both scenarios they know now that like it was not positive um, but they all agree that an extra day of caution is advisable and they support our decision to keep Chelsea and Ashley in I think they're gonna keep their kids in just to be safe and then Jason's um, we're gonna film today but his a bridge just came out his teeth just came out so now he has to go to the dentist tomorrow which again we're now glad that we are not COVID exposed so that he can go to the dentist but now it means that he's a little bit more delayed going to work tomorrow. So just less exposure, I think, at this point in the game is a better option. So I just didn't want you guys to worry. Uh, we aren't showing any symptoms here in our house and we are now on day six, seven of exposure from this person that is now negative. So. You know, it is what it is as we go through this week. I'm going to be watching any any symptom 
could that could be possible but luckily the rain is going to kind of keep us inside and our governor just kind of shut the state down a smidge we have a mask mandate that has been in play all along but now restaurants are at 25 percent capacity and no longer allowed to have people indoors which i don't know how that's going to work here in the northwest when the rainy season is upon us uh, and then also at stores they are down to I think a 50% capacity or even like 25% so Jason already got, went to Costco today I'll explain all this but the state is kind of not in panic mode but it, we're back in like okay let's let's huddle back down and let's get our COVID cases back in check the rest of the country is spiking and it's a good time for us to just hunker down but I just want you guys to worry we are now non, not exposed, totally safe, and we're gonna hunker down. So keep ourselves even more safe. But I hope you guys are having a great week and are doing good yourself and staying safe. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.